thus we enter the Temple of Time. Again, how about that awesome music, am I right? <laughs> Was this Ganon Castle from Ocarina of Time? Yeah, right? Lasers and shit? No kidding. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> ah yes, the big reveal. Indeed, my dear adventurer, you had been teleporting into this very room all along. So, where are we? In the Tower of Time. And where is that? Surely you mean when. To be honest, I don't really know. The tower is a device that travels through time that manifests to test messengers who are deemed worthy in order to relocate them as needed. Where will it take me? When it will take you to the time most in need of a messenger. That is, if the tower doesn't kill you, of course. Need anything? <laughs> like, uh, sure. <laughs> Alright, we need a thousand for that. We need five hundred for that. And then I'm not even really gonna worry about that one. Chat, any stories to share? You guys ready for some more uh, insightful insight? You ready? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. Thought you was the villain all along. Ninja Link is on the move. Yeah, alright. Let's see what this guy has to say. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a land filled with bogs, and these bogs were filled with evil monsters. Sleeping underwater during the day, they were kept at bay under the moon, or they were kept at bay by the moon during nighttime. Well, when she was kind enough to be around after all, the moon was free to travel through space, and often felt like shining her light on other realms. One day the moon got bored and decided to visit the bog land in human form. Wearing a cloak so that her light wouldn't shine through, she hoped to catch a glance of the evil creatures. Getting more than people want, getting more than people wandering haphazardly in cursed lands usually bargained for. She encountered a man fleeing from a small pack of monsters. Confident in her power, she removed her cloak, creating a glittering aura of protection to help the man escape. Escape he did, but as he looked back, he could see that his savior had put her cloak back on a little too soon. She was captured by the creatures, who then buried her under a rock so that her light would never shine again. Their rule, they would rule the night. But our survivor was quick to gather a group of peasants, who went to remove the big rock and set the moon free. A strong bond was formed on that day, and she decided to become their guardian. To this day, the moon is there to guide the human travelers through the night. The end. Oh, I like that one. I guess it speaks to the power of cooperation? Maybe. To be honest, I only wanted to use the word haphazardly in a story. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy, dude. This fucking guy. Damn. <laughs> Consume water. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh. Delicious. Cool. Let's keep it going. Wait. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you the cabinet's off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You don't think so, huh, man? You think you can just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to good use in the outside world and maybe, I don't know, save humanity? <laughs> If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. What do you think, guys? Should we do it? Should we do it? I'm gonna do it. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. Here we go. You asked for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. Here we go, guys. The only... The one thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. 
I think I finally cracked that code. You see, everyone has goals. So you think, oh, when I have this, I'll be happy, or when I achieve that, I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devol uh, Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future, to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail because once you reach your goal, you are not the same person you were once you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. Whoa, this is getting hella fucking deep. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry pick the people around you. So that every day you're just stoked to live your own life. And you don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. Now I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need you to but I need to optimize my own life. And that implies that you stopped trying to open my cabinet, so I really hope I bored you to death. Nope. You should see what I did to that last traveler who got so nosy. Hey, I heard that! Oof. And then it just loops. But yeah. How about that shit? How about that shit, guys? Food for thought. Clip that. Clip that shit. More insightful wisdom. <laughs> From the fucking messenger. Yeah. Shit. Almost got death number four there. Oh no! Ah, oh, I shouldn't have opened my goddamn mouth. I should not have opened my goddamn mouth. <laughs> God damn it. Death number four to a fucking wall, dude. Sad day. Sad day. Come on. Woo, that was close. Oh. Oh, I thought that was gonna happen again. I thought it was gonna fucking happen again, dude. Ugh. Maybe it's right. I did get Andrew 21 from him. One fourth deaths from enemies. I know, right? Ain't that, ain't that fucking sad? Or, or awesome, based on how you want to look at it. It means the game's puzzles are really good. Oof. Close. God damn it. No! Oh, I fucking no! God damn it! God damn it! Number five, added to the fucking counter. <laughs> fucking god damn it! Fucking stop! <laughs> Six! Oh my god, that's such a weird fucking setup, dude. Cloud step literally fucks you right there. That's sad, man. Oh my god, can you not? Can you not? For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Oof. Oh my what? Dece oh fuck. Oh dude, no, no, no. Three rapid secession deaths. Fucking back to back to fucking back. Are you serial? Are you serial right now? Are you fucking. Oh my god. No! Oh, no, man, no. This is bad. This is fucking bad, dude. This is bad. Full health don't matter when you're getting squished. <laughs> Come on, please, 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 please don't. Please don't. For fuck's sake. God damn it, dude. God fucking damn it. Ugh. 
Seven deaths. Seven fucking deaths. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, this fucking game. <laughs> this fucking game, dude. Uh.